our military servicemen and women have worked hard to protect this country, and whether they're active or retired, more than anyone, they deserve to realize the American dream of owning a home. Now, here to tell us what the Veterans Association of Real Estate Professionals is doing to help them is Secretary Tiffany Denlinger, Government Affairs Robert Rabago, and Community Outreach Director Phyllis James. Thank you all so much for joining us today. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Pleasure to have you, Phyllis. Let's start with you. When was the VA rep actually established? It was established 2011, and the Tucson chapter was established in 2015. Got it. So for a long time, you guys have help, been helping veteran, veterans realize their dream of maybe financial stability, owning a home, et cetera. Yes. So what's the real vision? I mean, I might have just given it away, but what would you say <laughs> the vision is if you had to put it in your words? Well, the home ownership is um, the vision of the organization is mm -hmm. to financially educate our veterans and to realize and sustain home ownership and to end homelessness in our veteran community. Right, we don't wanna leave them behind after yeah. everything that they've done for us, we have to give them these resources for them to live right. a successful life, to make that transition successfully from military service to living as a civilian. And Robert, you have to have funding in order to be able to do these, uh, to have the mission and, and fulfill the mission. How does the VA rep actually receive funding? Uh, thank you for asking, Alex. Our funding comes from sponsorships, and uh, of course we have different events that also bring uh, bring funding for us. Uh, of course, we have that big golf tournament that's coming on. That's going to be August 24th, and it's going to be at the uh, the Quinn, Quinn Quarry Pines golf golf uh, course. Okay, uh, but we have events like. Uh, uh, the housing, housing summit is not bringing, but it, the housing summit is going to educate people. Um, we have different. Uh, the sponsorship is the main thing. It's yeah. our big sponsors, like Brother John's, is opening up their restaurant for us to have this housing summit, and that helps us a lot right there. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, we go out to uh, lenders. We go out to um, let's see, uh, title companies mm -hmm. that we also ask them for for help. Right, right. So, Tiffany, let's talk about that housing summit a little bit more. Robert mentioned it's at uh, Brother John's Barbecue. What else can you tell us about it? Um, it's a great event. Um, it's really there to cater to um, veterans and inform them on what they need to do for their home loan. Mm -hmm. um, we can do certificates of elig eligibility on spot. They, they'll talk to um, title companies and lenders and, and other real estate agents there to kind of give them a little bit more information mm -hmm. about um, their home loan. Yeah, and who are you inviting to come out to this summit? Is it open to anybody who wants to learn a little bit more, really just veterans and active members? Or? Well, we'd love to help the veterans um, with their with their VA loan. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we would love some sponsorships from lenders. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they come in and they have a whole plethora of uh, veterans there to talk to and interested in purchasing a home. So it's a great uh, time for them to be able to sponsor uh, title companies, home inspectors, um, and other real estate agents. Right. Well, organizing this event is a big accomplishment in and of itself. Can you talk to us a little bit more about some other VA rep accomplishments? Um, there's quite a few. I recently joined the board, I think it was November of last year, and mm -hmm. they've been kind of manning, um, manning it before that, and it, it, they have a ton of accomplishments. Me, um, I can kind of list some of the things that they've done. Uh, you, we, well, in, no, in November, we fed the homeless um, holiday dinner, and that was fantastic. The, wow. the, the, veteran, the, the veteran and disabled homeless. Um, we uh, are working to, with Congress to reform uh, legislation for veterans and active duty military. Um, and we host uh, lots of educational um, trainings for veterans and real estate professionals as far as the VA loan goes. So right. That's really good. And I just want to add to that, we've educated over 2,600 veterans, we've educated over 6,000 um, agents and lenders, and um, those are some of our accomplishments and our visions to get that education out there so that veterans will know their options. Right, not only is it education uh, for the veterans, but also for real estate professionals yes. just the same. And Robert, how, how will people benefit from this type of VA rep training? First of all, uh, of course, the, our veterans are going to benefit from it. Yeah. But you take a real estate professional; he'll be educated. The person will be educated, uh, so they a veteran comes to him, they'll know the uh, things that are available for veterans, mm -hmm. how to get the loan, a VA loan, which is very beneficial. Um, and then uh, for the lenders, if they go to the training, maybe they haven't experienced a doing a VA loan. Mm -hmm. So by going to the training, they'll get ideas, okay, this is what it is, what it involves and everything. So, uh, but mainly our veterans, 
and then the professionals, uh, they'll learn what's available to those uh, VA members or VA uh, people. Well, there are so many benefits afforded to veterans that having trained professionals make the best of them for the veterans, that's really going to make a difference uh, for what they can do. And so, Phyllis, how will this training impact Southern Arizona as a whole, would you say? Well, for one, we have sellers willing to sell to veterans. Mm -hmm. We have veterans knowing that they can use their VA benefits. We've had no, numerous veterans that didn't even realize they could use their VA benefits. Yeah. And so they know that. So now they are part of the market and buying real estate. So this helps in being able to buy more homes, sell more homes. Mm -hmm. And also, we I want to mention one of our accomplishments yeah. that we have, um, it will be implemented this year where we have had a change in the application that gets the question asked, are you a veteran? Yeah. And get that conversation started. And we advocate in DC and speak to our congressmen and women to make that happen. And we have, I have one more, <laughs> we have one more that we're working on right now mm -hmm. is the um, Veterans Choice Act mm -hmm. so that they can make the decision between the VA home loan, FHA and conventional loan. That is not in place right now. And so once that's put before them, they can make an educated decision on which um, loan they want to use. So again, they're able to buy, sellers are willing to sell to them, yeah. so it moves real estate. Well, taking care of our veterans is an ever-evolving, ever-improving task, and I think yeah. VA Rep is certainly at the forefront of helping veterans live a more financially responsible and more fulfilling life to realize that yes. dream again of owning their own home. So I want to thank you all for what you're doing. Thank, thank you for you. joining us today, and I'm going to get people out to that event. Thank you. Thank you so much, Alex. Thank you so much. <laughs> now, here are the details again on that Veterans Housing Summit one more time. It's taking place Saturday, May 19th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Brother John's Barbecue. For more info, log on to varep.net slash stars and stripes or call 520-981-8499.